four, nine, will lead us through learning objective six and learning objective nine. So let's see what we have. Compute the breakeven point for a multi-service company. Compute sales for a target profit. Gulf Shore Lawn and Garden Maintenance provides two general outdoor services, lawn maintenance and garden maintenance. Company charges customers 15 bucks per hour for each type of service, but lawn maintenance has higher variable costs than garden maintenance because of the fuel expenses incurred to operate lawn mowing equipment. Well, that makes sense, I think. All employees are paid a fixed monthly salary, so we'll get that in fixed costs. A contribution form and income statement for the recent month for the two services appears below, and we do have one below. During the month, 6,000 hours of lawn maintenance services and 2,000 hours of garden maintenance were provided. Required, compute the overall contribution margin ratio for the company. Okay, we'll do that, but while we're doing that, we're also going to replicate a lot of what's in the, uh, uh, in, the, in the question. So here's our first service, lawn maintenance. We'll record it by hour and by percent. The next one we have is garden. We'll record by hour and by percent. And we'll total it and calculate the percent. So let's look at our sales level. Lawn, 90,000. And garden, for 30000 which gives us a total of $120,000. And of course, that is all 100%. And we're told in the question that both services are billed out at 15 bucks an hour, regardless of which one it is. Less our variable costs. Here we're looking at 42000 Over here we're looking at 6000 And here we have a total of 48,000. When you add up the 42 and the 6, we get to 48,000. So, this 48,000 of 120, if you do the math, we'll get to 40%. So that means we're looking at $72,000 total contribution margin. Contribution margin ratio overall of 60%. Here, we have 24,000 as our contribution margin. We That represents 80% of 30,000, which means this must be 20%. And here, when we subtract, we have 48,000 as our contribution margin. And 48,000 of 90,000, it's an odd number, 53.33%. And 42 of 90,000, we find is 46.67. Now, this is the first time we've seen in problems these odd numbers. Only, you'll only get really round numbers like this, like 100%, 20%, 80% in textbooks. It's very rare in the real world that you'll get those kind of numbers. So you should get used to the messiness of decimal places and two to three to four number places because that's the reality of reality. All right? So let's uh, finish up here. We're told our variable cost uh, per hour is $7 here, and we're told our variable cost per hour is 3 That's given right in the question. We're told uh, uh, that's what it is. Now, we're going to subtract our fixed cost, but we only do it from the total. So I like to bring it all the way over here. I don't like to stick it here and, and, and bring it over. So our fixed cost, we're told, are 54000 And that gives us a net income of 18000 operating profit or operating income. So I've really just repeated the question. I'm not sure if we've answered it or not, but it's asking us to compute the overall contribution margin ratio for the company. So number one, contribution margin ratio for the company. There it is right there. 60%. Number two, compute the overall break-even point for the company in sales dollars. So we're calculating it in sales dollars. If we're calculating in sales dollars, we must be dividing by the ratio, right? So our break-even point for the, co for the company in dollars is our fixed costs. We always have to cover our fixed costs divided by our overall contribution margin ratio. That's why we had to calculate that in part one, correct? So that gives us $54,000. There's our fixed costs right there, $54,000. And we divide that by 0 0.6. And that gives us $90,000. 
all those nice beeps you hear it's just email going off I really should learn to turn off all my devices but I'm sure many of you heard that and probably looked at your own phone right then and there and said is that me is that me so I'm gonna leave it on just to psych you out it's like driving down the road with the stereo on and the music is playing and in the song is a police siren so you look in your rear view mirror to go is something going on <laughs> all right let's keep going number three compute the weighted average contribution margin per hour for the company the weighted average contribution margin so what we need is our sales mix to do that right so our sales mix lawn lawn is 90,000 90,000 of 120 so in other words 75 percent of our sales come from lawn and if 75 cent percent come from lawn and we're only a two service company 25 percent must come from garden so to calculate our weighted average margin uh, uh, per uh, uh, per unit we, we need 15 minus 7 is 8 our contribution margin per unit for lawn uh, um, services is eight dollars and our contribution margin per unit here is twelve dollars fifteen minus three so we take our eight and we weighted by its weighting in the sales mix 0 0.75 plus our contribution margin per unit for garden weighted by its weighting in overall sales which is 0.25 and that will give us if you do the math this will be six bucks over here it'll be three bucks you'll get nine dollars number four calculate the overall break-even point for the company in hours the break-even point for the company in hours so let's have a look at what that looks like number four we need our break-even point and we're looking at hours now hours is nothing more than units remember this is a service company so they're not selling products they're selling hours every hour is a unit so our break-even in hours is nothing more than our break-even in units and we know that that is our fixed costs divided by our contribution margin per unit here this is contribution margin per hour but we'll still call it contribution margin per unit we get fifty four thousand dollars divided by now we're not going to use just the eight or the twelve remember we have a mix that's why we had to calculate the weighted average contribution margin per hour which is nine dollars we'll divide that by nine and that will give us six thousand hours so we need to sell six thousand hours in this mix seventy five percent of these hours must be lawn twenty five percent of them must be garden that will give us a nine dollar contribution margin per hour we have to cover fifty four thousand dollars nine per hour there's our six thousand so it must be that mix that's how we interpret that let's continue on number five at the overall break-even point in total hours that's what we calculated here at the overall break-even point in total hours how many hours of each service must be provided for the company to break even well we already did that right we're asking how many hours of each service well we have 6,000 hours to break even but lawn is weighted at 75 percent garden is weighted at 25 percent so 75 percent of 6,000 is how many hours 4,500 hours and 25 percent of 6,000 must be the difference is 1,500 hours those are the hours we need to break even remember we need 6,000 units our units happen to be hours we need 6,000 of them but we have a mix that looks like this 75 25 for this break even to work one of the assumptions of a multi-product company is that the sales mix does not change so this 6,000 hours is our break even if we sell it in this ratio which means we must sell it in this ratio number six number six is a little bit more challenging here calculate the overall sales in dollars required to earn an after-tax profit of 42 if the tax rate is 30 percent so we know that our target profit basically we're looking we have to cover our fixed costs plus our target profit 
But here we're told our target profit is after tax, so we take our net income and we divide it by 1 minus the tax rate. Why? Because we have to see what net income would be before we charge tax. That's why we divide it by 1 minus the tax rate. Divided by, what do you think? Read the question here. Calculate the overall sales in dollars. If it said in units, it would be divided by our contribution margin per unit. Remember, the U and the U. But this is dollars, so it's a contribution margin ratio, and it's the overall contribution margin ratio, which we calculated in number one. So let's fill in the numbers. Our fixed costs, we know, are $54,000. Plus, we're asked to earn a profit after tax of 42000 And we're told our tax rate is 30%, 1 minus 0.3. And all of that is over 0.6. So if you do the math on the top, you'll get 114,000.6 on the bottom equals $190,000. So when you first read this question and what was asked, it probably looked really daunting. You probably thought, wow, I, I, I don't know where I'm going to go from there. Well, you just break it down step by step and you just work your way through the whole thing. And how do we, how do we get proficient at this? We do them, we do problems again and again and again until we can do them blindfolded, until we look at a problem and go, I know exactly how to solve this. Don't try to memorize this kind of stuff. You have to get muscle memory, and your brain is a muscle. So the more problems you do, the stronger that muscle gets. You don't have to rely on memorization anymore. It'll just be part of you.